Need some coins to that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out mudpacks.com where you guys can open up exciting packs, win tons of mud coins, and withdraw the coins to your account. Use code Zerk for 15% off. The whole thing wobbing. Josh Allen was supposed to be in yesterday's gameplay, but of course with Ken Stabler coming out, we had to make that little swap there. So now today we have Josh Allen, Justin Jefferson, Ramsey, and Derwin James for today's gameplay. I do want to give a shout out to Jacob Martin for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below. Noti Gang. Also guys, my NBA picks for today are likely already up right now. So if you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code ZERK to match first deposit it up to hundred dollars and follow me over on twitter for my picks and make sure you guys check out the underdog fantasy discord under announcements and fill out that google form link is in the comment section to get the march madness special coming up as you guys can see we do have josh allen on the team in terms of his release he has slinger four now slinger four is pretty solid i would say uh the deep release on it i personally prefer over like jalen hurts's deep release uh not as good as slinger three but it's definitely a very very usable uh quarterback and very very usable release in general 94 speed 99 throw power good accuracies of course you know it's josh allen he's really good running the ball 99 excel 90 carry 99 break tackle 99 break sack 93 trucking as well uh, running omaha on him set feet lead for one ap he gets right here gunslinger as well he gets for zero ap and then finally gets how master pass the elite or fearless so i am not running fearless on him you know you kind of have to make a decision here between if you want to run let's say no hot route master you could do that or maybe no set feet lead everyone to go about it but for me this is the stack in my opinion that i would run uh, he does have team of the year cam i don't know why it's glitching out like this obviously he also has bills and i already did a gameplay with chase and tyreek hill we still have tyreek hill on the team though so i wanted to get justin jefferson six foot one 98 speed 98 excel uh, 99 deep route running good after the catch as well and then in terms of abilities i'm running double me on him uh, he does get route tech for one ap right here and then he gets deep out of lead or route tech for zero but if you want deep out for zero this is the only place to get it does get slot automatic as well for one ap very very nice card or he could run short in i'm running deep out in route tech and again team of the year and then vikings cam alan ramsey future cowboy six foot one 98 speed 97 excel 99 man 99 zone coverage uh he also has 90 blocks she had 95 hit power it looks really nice i'm running universal coverage deep out zone ko for one ap and then pick artist for zero i personally run a lot of zone i don't run a lot of man he does get flat zone k over one ap one step ahead for four and secure tackler as well and again he gets rams jags and team of the year but not showing and then finally derwin james now i'm actually going to use around derwin for this gameplay 98 speed 97 excel uh 6 2 99 zone 96 man coverage really nice 96 change of direction 99 jumping uh only a 67 block shit but 97 hit power as well and in terms of abilities i'm running pick artist on him he also gets goal line stuff run stopper and mid zone ko in this one and then secure tackler he gets flat zone ko and deep out but since i'm using pick artist and secure tackler made the most sense he does also get a free safety secondary position let's get into it the nfl season may be over but there is still a ton of stuff to do on underdog fantasy if you guys didn't know underdog fantasy also has pick em entries available for the nba college basketball esports hockey mlb mma a ton of stuff that you guys can check out and i'm always putting up picks over on my twitter and of course using the pick em entries you guys can go ahead and 20 times your entry if you hit all five picks correct or use the insurance feature which will allow you to still win even if you miss on one now not only does underdog have a bunch of different things you can do for pick ems, but they also have a bunch of drafts you guys can go and enter the big tournaments enter some of the smaller ones or even start private tournaments where you can invite your friends to play make sure you guys check out underdog fantasy and use code zerk to match first deposit up to hundred dollars and as i said i'm always posting up picks over on my twitter so let's get into this and see what we can do as you guys can see that is my opponent's top three with ken stabler jamar chase and justin jefferson 
my top three. All right, so let's see what we can do out here. We are starting off on the offensive side of things, and Tyreek Hill is going to get wide open instantly. All right, so I got to delay a game. That one is definitely on me there, as we're going to have Gronk absolutely wide open with the catch. Like I said, his deep release is definitely not as good as, like, you know, Ken Stabler or those guys, but it's still very, very good as Justin Jefferson's open underneath. Second down in five now was looking to maybe go to the running back. He's not open, but look who is. Justin Jefferson wide open. I feel like either Jefferson's going to be open here or maybe Tyreek Hill. One of these two I think are going to be a wide open for me to just quick fire it in and look at that. Tyreek Hill wide open. All right, so we have Derwin James out here. My opponent has Bazooka instantly so that worries me a little bit makes me think he's gonna try to you know throw the ball deep we are gonna be usering on derwin i'm gonna switch between usering on derwin here and ooh, almost had a pick i will switch between derwin and julius peppers for who i am usering on here so let's see what we can do. I'm going to look out over the middle. He's throwing it there and Derwin with the knockout. And I'm actually going to flip-flop these two. I just put Derwin over here on the right side. I'm going to look out over the middle. He's got Chase. Yep, that one is completely on me. Great throw. That one was totally on me right there. My opponent's down to the 30-yard line now. And I actually thought for sure that was going to be a run. I, I had somebody in the flats there. Not sure how exactly that didn't get played, but second and two coming up, and he is going to be throwing the football. Everything is bagged, and he's got to throw it away. Okay, third down and two. Will he try to run it? And nope, he will not try to run it. I saw it too late, though. Saw that quick little route right there, and I kind of just figured that's what he was going to go to as he is going to run the football here. Aaron Donald, nice play. All right, second down and 11 coming up here. Let's see if we can get a stop, and he is going to run another play action. Going to look out over the middle, and... Great throw. A great play there from my opponent. Just found the open hole, hit his man. Good job there. Now we have the ball back, though, at the start here of the second quarter as Gronk's going to get wide open and get the first down. Now, I do have Omaha activated on Josh Allen, so I actually know exactly what my opponent is running now out here on defense, so this is going to be really good. Like on this play here, I know that if he doesn't use a run him, then I'm likely going to get Carmichael open over the middle and Carmichael, easy catch. I also know here that I should have Justin Jefferson just wide open, try to do something after the catch. Jefferson, let's go. And I think that we should have jefferson i think for a td here potentially because he's running man coverage so jefferson should separate and there we go touchdown dustin jefferson with the receiving td right there you love to see it as i'm not gonna lie i thought he was throwing that over the middle oh throwing out throwing out let's go micah parsons with the sack i was really hoping he was gonna try to throw it just across the middle there as we're getting a bit of pressure on him and again another sack all right and on fourth and 21 of course my opponent here is uh gonna go for it on his own 16 yard line maybe not the smartest move ever i i take it back i really take it back i did not expect that well, that was bad um really bad and, and really really bad on me that was super super bad as i'm gonna look out over the middle and ramsey what a hit Jalen ramsey with a monster hit right there second down coming up i'm gonna look out okay he's going to the flats over there ramsey can we get another hit stick so he's managed to make his way down here to the 48 yard line honestly kind of expected to see a run there derwin I have secure tackler. Now he's running gun bunch, and I've seen him throw this route now a couple of oh, okay, never mind. Different play. Alright. He's motioning over Jefferson. I was gonna say maybe he'll throw this to Chase. Like that's his go-to route here. But I don't think he's gonna try to throw it to Chase. Instead, he's gonna throw it out of bounds. Okay, so he's down to the 28-yard line now. I gotta look out over the middle, and instead he throws the sideline. So this can be pretty risky, but on second and three, I'm sending a blitz at him, and the blitz did not get there. Well, that unfortunately did not work out. The blitz did not get there in time, and no way is he gonna get in. Let's go. We stopped him. He should have just taken his three. All right, so we go into the second half, up 14 to seven. We managed to get a stop on my opponent there right before uh, the end of the first half. I didn't even realize he didn't have any timeouts, though, so that was just really bad clock management by him and Sertain. Patrick Sertain, what a play. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing right there as we are going to have Carmichael just wide open underneath. I don't want to jinx it, but we have not thrown an incomplete pass so far. So we'll see if we can keep that up here. 
as I think we're gonna have, oh my goodness, look at Justin Jefferson. Jefferson, get your feet in bounds, let's go. I don't really ever look at that route in that play, but I just kind of made my progressions and Jefferson was wide open. I don't know how he got open. Really not sure how he managed to get that wide open there, but what a play. And this Josh Allen card, I'm really liking him. I'm definitely liking this Josh Allen card so far. My opponent now is down to the 46 yard line and I want an interception so bad with uh, Derwin. I would absolutely love to get an interception with Derwin James as he's gonna go over the middle and Jalen Watson with an easy interception. Okay, so we're gonna start off on the 43 yard line and don't drop it, please. We're trying to keep this 100% completion percentage going. Second down and three coming up. I'm looking to go deep. I really, really wanna try to go deep if we're gonna get something open which we do not we'll take the sack let's let's not throw an incompletion third down and 11 coming up i wonder if we'll get jefferson open on the out route looks like he is not going to be open oh no under pressure he had carmichael open for the first down our first incomplete pass is because i'm not running fearless of course it would be. It would be because I'm not running fearless. Fourth and 11 coming up though. And I'm looking to go to Jefferson over the middle. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I forced it in there. I absolutely forced it in. And again, I want to be a Xerxes gameplay if I don't throw a pick. By the way, I just saw like the replay there. I think Carmichael was wide open, but... Yeah, I forced it in because I really, really wanted to get Jefferson the ball. Sometimes when I run these gameplays, that's just the stuff that I do as my opponent's going to be on the 25. I'm looking out for the tight end, and CMC instead is going to be wide open taking a big hit. I go from having a 100% completion percentage to throwing an interception. Yep, that's, that's definitely my style of gameplay right there as not sure how CMC got open. You have to expect this is probably a run right on the two yard line with cmc he's probably gonna run the football here and actually no he doesn't run it i'm gonna look back across the middle that's not open and he has to throw it away he most certainly could run it here but again he decides not to and instead throws it right to julius peppers and peppers is gonna have an incredible return so there we go we got the ball back let's see if we can get maybe one more score as i don't know what that was i don't know exactly what just happened right there but uh Okay, we're at the 38 yard line. I really want to go deep. I do. I really want to go to Jefferson, but he is not going to be open here. We're going to go to Gronk underneath. He just completely whiffed on that tag on Gronk is still going. I love this car. And I think I may catch my opponent here in one on one coverage to Jefferson. And I got to try it. Jefferson. Oh. Gronk, you could have caught that. Listen, I've got deep out of lead. I got to try it at least once, right? Absolutely had to try it at least once there. Here we might go to Gronk over the middle or we might go to Jefferson. Yep, Jefferson wide open. Not a first down though. Now third down and one. I have not ran the ball at all, but I really don't think my opponent expects it. And I just don't want to either which way as Tyreek Hill getting wide open. And here I think we're going to catch him off guard. I think we're going to be able to get justin jefferson potentially on this play let's see if he's running man and yep oh look at him he's open he def i definitely could fit that in my opponent was usering on it but i think if i just leave that in there i think we have it as we're gonna have gronk just wide open get those yards back honestly if i have jefferson one-on-one -on -one, i might take it here as well we've got to try it jefferson go and get it Man, I, I'm just trying to get an aggressive catch. I have deep out. I got to try it. Got to try it, right? We're already up 14 points. We already won the game. I'm trying to give you guys some highlight plays to remember about these cards. And unfortunately, just not able to get it done there as whoo, we had us. Now my opponent's just going to be chucking up the ball deep here. You have to imagine. And Derwin James right there. I, I knew what he was running. I just don't know how I got picked there. And it looks like my opponent, guys, is going to be out of here. Definitely an incredible gameplay. Definitely a really, really good gameplay there. Derwin James is an incredible user. We luckily got an interception there. Uh, Ramsey caused a knockout on Gronk, which was cool to see. Jefferson, really, really good. Josh Josh Allen, really good. Like, really good. I like this card a lot. You guys can see 255 passing yards, 75 pass attempts. I did not, I did not throw the ball 75 times, EA, but uh, okay. 11 passing TDs and 12 interceptions. That also did not happen. All right, well, those stats are definitely wrong there. We did have two interceptions, but we had three touchdowns, I want to say. Overall, the card just played really, really good. 
I'm a big fan of the card. And let's see if Jefferson shows correctly for receiving. And okay, well, at least he did. Six catches, 111 yards, two touchdowns. Really, really nice. Uh, both these cards are really good. Now, the only interceptions I threw with Josh Allen was trying to force the ball to Justin Jefferson, but that's just what I do, right? Gotta have a little bit of fun with the gameplay. Definitely one of the best wide receivers in the entire game. Really, really fun gameplay. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like on it. Hit that sub button down below. Check out Underdog Fantasy. Use code Zerk. I'll see you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.